Welcome to Lecture Online, and here I'm going to show you how to add vectors together numerically. So we're going to use what we call the numeric method. Now, if the vectors are in the same direction or in opposite directions, it's pretty easy. For example, here you have vector A, which has a magnitude of 5 newtons in the x direction, and vector B, which has a magnitude of 2 newtons in the same x direction. If you, don't, if you now want to add the two vectors together, you simply go, oh, that's A plus B, and you can say, all right, that's uh, 5 newtons in the x direction plus 2 newtons in the x direction, which is 7 newtons in the x direction. They are additive because they're pointing in the same direction. Now here in our second example, we have the b vector that's now in the opposite direction. So now when we add the two vectors together, we get 5 newtons in the x direction plus a negative 2 newtons. Now a negative 2 newtons simply means that it's in a negative direction. There's no such thing as a negative 2 newtons of force. You can have 2 newtons of force in the direction of the negative x-axis or in the negative x-direction. And so that's what the negative means. And so now when you add these two together, the sum is 3 newtons in the x-direction. Notice that the b vector, the 2 newtons pointing in the other direction kind of oppose this vector. So imagine a 5 newton force in this direction, a 2 newton force in this direction. The net result is that you have a net 3 newtons in the positive x direction. So that's fairly straightforward. Now let's take a look at this example. Here we have two vectors that are not pointing in the same direction or in the opposite direction. One is pointing, the a vector is pointing in the positive x direction, but the, v, the b vector is pointing in a direction that's 30 degrees above the horizontal, above the positive x direction. So how do you add those two vectors together? Notice that the b vector has a magnitude of 4 newtons and the a vector has a magnitude of 6 newtons. What you need to do first is find the x and y components of each of the two vectors. Now for the a vector that's fairly straightforward. There's no y component because the vector is pointing in the, a direct, in the x direction only. So you can write that the a vector is equal to 6 newtons in the x direction plus 0 newtons in the y direction. There's simply no component in the y direction, so we could just kind of write as 0 newtons in the y direction. What about the b vector? Well, if we project the b vector onto the x-axis so, like that, and if we project the b vector onto the y-axis like that, we will then get what we call our b sub x vector, which is the x component of the b vector, remember the name, and then here I can draw the y component, b sub y. This is the y component of the b vector, and remember, I can actually move that component over. I can move it over here. I can also call this the y component of the b vector. Now, how do I find the magnitude of the x and the y component of the b vector? That we've shown in, previous, in a previous video, and if you remember correctly, we can say that b sub x, the magnitude of the x component, is equal to the magnitude of the hypotenuse, which is the magnitude of the b vector, times the cosine of the angle theta. So in this case, that would be equal to 4 newtons multiplied times the cosine of 30 degrees. And for that, I'm going to need my calculator. So we have 30, take the cosine, that's 0.866 times 4, that gives us 3.46 newtons. So that's equal to 3.46 newtons. Notice that's only the magnitude, you don't see any arrows here, that simply means the magnitude of that component. And b sub y is equal to b times the sine of theta, which is equal to 4 newtons times the sine of 30 degrees, and of course the sine of 30 degrees is equal to 1 half, so that's equal to 2.00 newtons. All right, so now I have the x and y components of my a vector, I have the x and y components of my v vector, now I can go ahead and sum them together. Because, after all, the resultant is going to be the sum of the x component of the resultant plus the y component of the resultant. And you can say that the x component of the resultant, r sub x, is going to be equal to the sum of the x component of the a vector plus the x component of the y vector. And notice that in each case, the a vector is pointed to the right, the x component of the b vector points to the right, so they're both in the positive x direction. So I can write that r sub x is equal to um, a sub x plus b sub x, which is 
uh, a sub x is equal to, where are we? 6 newtons, 6.00 newtons, plus b sub x, and that was equal to 3.46 newtons. So that's equal to 9.46 newtons. So the magnitude of the resultant in the x direction is 9.46 newtons. We can do the same for the y direction. R sub y is equal to a sub y plus b sub y, the components of a and, y, uh, of a and b in the y direction. Notice that there is no component in the y direction for a that was equal to 0. And the component for the b vector is in the positive y direction. So we can write this equal to 0 newtons plus the 2 newtons, which is 2.00 newtons. So now we have the x and y components of the resultant vector. So finally, I can write it like this and say this is equal to r sub x, so is 9.46 newtons in the x direction plus the 2.00 newtons in the y direction. And this is how we add vectors together that do not point in either the same direction or in opposite directions. You have to find the x and y components first of each of the two vectors, then you add the x components together, then you add the y components together to get the x and the y components of the resultant, and then you write it in the vector format like that. And that's how you add vectors numerically.